Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. And tonight we're doing something very, very different, but something that I've been watching a lot of videos of. It seemed like a ton of fun. We are doing an eBay mystery box. Now, I actually bought this box off eBay for 25 bucks, And I'll put the seller's name right here on the screen in case you want to check it out. Because it might be good, it might be bad. Now, out of the videos I've seen, I've seen people get video games. And I've also seen people get a picture of a middle finger with a bag of dog crap. So, there's a lot of room in the middle to find something. This particular one cost me $25. It's a $25 mystery box. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and hope for the best. Hopefully, it's not a bag of dog crap. But it literally can be anything, and I honestly cannot get mad no matter what it is, because I agree to it. Let's see if it's worth it. And at the end, you guys let me know if you like these kind of videos, and if I buy another one, should I buy from the same seller or a different seller? Depending on how good this one is. Let's see. If I can open it up. Oh man. I feel like I'm going to get dog crap. <laughs> I don't smell nothing, but... I mean, you can definitely hear stuff in there. But what is the question? What? And how do I open this thing without destroying it? Actually, it's just a black box. Why the heck do I care if I destroy it? Straight down the middle? Nope. Well, is it going to be dog crap? Ooh. I see bubble wrap. Well... I think we got some crap, but let's see. <laughs> we got some little confetti type things. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, a Rubik's Cube right off the bat. I've actually got these at Barnes & Noble quite a few times. This is actually a real one. I usually get the, what do they call it, X Cubes are the ones I find most often at a Barnes & Noble. I actually do not own a regular Rubik's Cube, so that's, that's pretty cool right there. Nice start, nice start. Oh, speak of the devil. What did I say I was going to get, guys? What did I say I was going to get? I got crap. Actual crap. But, you know, an emoji crap keychain. But I said before the video started, I was going to get crap. And there's my crap. I knew it was coming. Let's see what this is. Ooh, this is actually pretty useful. This could be useful for me because I have a lot of jacked up CDs. Well, we got a GameStop disc skip fixer. So it repairs discs. Two fluid ounces. You know what? Honestly, I can use this. Is it new or is it used... Is that really what it does? It smells like some body wash or something. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to use it. It doesn't look sealed. That'd be messed up if they put like some Axe body wash in one of these and I go to put it on my CD and destroy it. That would be some crap. What else do we got in here? Okay, that's the thing that goes to it. It looks like some bubble wrap. And an air freshener. So wait, there's something in this? No, I think this is for shipping. This one just feels like there's something hard in it. It might just be for shipping. It might just be cardboard or something in there, but I'm going to rip it open anyway. Really? <laughs> I'm going to put this in my car. They think they're funny. I'm going to put that in my car at Cinnamon Apple, and it still smells good. It still smells good. And let's see, a tissue. Oh, boy. Does it say anything on it? I was hoping to get a middle finger picture like I've seen other people get. No, I think it was just for shipping purposes, but let's see if anything is in these little black things. They're probably just bubble wrap for shipping, but better be safe than sorry, right? Let's see what we got. Oh, there is something in there. Haha. -ha. We got a pop a grip on your phone? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen these before, actually. Look. I've seen this before. It actually, I think it sticks on your phone. It does. And you can stand it up and... Or you can just use it in your hand. I mean, this is the way I'd probably use it right there. If I was still in high school now, that would have been a useful invention right there. Because I used to always, you know... Some of you guys are probably in school still, trying to put it under your book like this. You know how convenient it would have been like that? But that is pretty cool right there. I never actually bought one, but cool. So does that mean there's something in this one too? This one feels like there's nothing in it, but if there's something in one, there's probably not something in another one. Let's see what we got. Maybe it's a bubble wrap pack of bubble wrap. No, there's something in there. Tissue paper? Oh my god! Is that all that's in there? Oh, no, there's something in there. Ooh, a GameStop gift card. A GameStop gift card. What? Now, how much money's on it? Probably, I don't know. I could give these away to a lot of people and make them very happy, but they would be mad when they went to test it because <laughs> I have a lot of ones with nothing on it, but I have no idea how much is on this, and it's unscratched. So, you know what? 
I'll be right back. I'm going to let you guys know what's on it. Nine. All right, guys. You know what? We're going to do this together. We're going to see how much is on here. Right now. Let's see. Bull. Let's try this again. The last four digits okay. of the card number you entered are four, one, five, seven. If this number is correct, press the pound key. Yes. If it, please enter your four digit pin number found under the scratch off on the back of the card. Followed by the pound key. Let's do it. The pin number that you have entered is three zero four four. If this number is correct, press the pound key. If there's nothing if on this, this is gonna be call, karma. Press the star key and please wait while we access your Let's information. See. Your card balance is five dollars. Oh, five dollars. Zero cents to repeat this information. Five dollar gift card, card, guys. So here you go. I'm going to let you guys do whatever you want with they Order something online. There's the code right there. And there's the pin. And as you just saw, $5 on this GameStop gift card. That is pretty sick right there. I did not expect to find that with it. So anyway, that was actually a pretty fun mystery box. We got a Rubik's Cube here. Some GameStop disc skip fixer. As many GameStop dumpsters as I've been in, I've never actually found this before. So it's probably something you got to buy in the store, which is pretty cool. That $5 GameStop gift card, here is the code once again, guys. Go ahead and use that and get yourself something for 5 bucks, or put it towards a better payment, bigger payment. A gift card, or not a gift card, an air freshener, which I'm legitly going to put in my car. Maybe they just put it in there to make the box smell good, but I'm going to put it in my car. Um, let's see, the back to that. The pile of crap, which I knew I was, I was going to get crap. That's just like the joke with these eBay mystery boxes. They always got to put some poop in there. We got that. And the phone holder thing. And the best thing of all, the tissue. The greatest part. Anyway, that's actually pretty fun, honestly. I might honestly think about ordering another one. Again, I'm going to put the seller's name right here if you guys want one. You think I should buy another one from them, or should I try a different seller? You guys are the viewers, so you let me know what I should do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving, unboxing, mystery figure, all kinds of videos every single day. And make sure you also hit the notification bell, because most of my giveaways are all about speed. So... You want to be here first. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Until next time, peace out.